on today's episode of Pocket Topics. Today we're going to talk about give credits where credits are due. But before I get into that, I'm just going to introduce this little segment here. Uh, Pocket Topics is going to be my weekly subject matter where I just talk about either Wi-Fi battling or just, you know, talk about anything that is game involved and just want to share my thoughts about it and even uh, reach out to you guys and see what you guys think about it and uh, basically just get from there really and I hope to reach a broader audience with this and I really feel that people are taking my my how to put it my opinions to account and I really really feel I want to share that I I am not as you guys know a huge competitive battler I'm more uh, as a strategic guy and I really want to try out new things and as a result I do tend to become a battler that people like battling because I do credit my opponent I do see them when they do a great move even if I win I'll take the time to um, credit the opponent for being either you know doing the right predictions or just you know be involved with the game and the same goes for me even if I lose I try to reach out on where my opponent did well I'm not trying to uh, in some way discard of the fact that my opponent did the right prediction and I really feel that it's very important to talk about stuff like that in this community where we have players that are famous for being trash talkers or being famous for being assholes really and I don't see that trend being something that I want to encourage new pocket tubers to get into because let's face it it's it's not healthy for a game to um, try to um, try to put, put yourself on a pedestal and uh, be an asshole and to try to uh, try to just justify your own means of how good or um, a great your predictions were. Uh, they don't gain anything for anybody, to be honest. And as a result, um, I really feel that the opponent they go up against is losing. Uh, a lot of um, credibility to actually get back in the game and actually like I said a lot of more famous Pocketubers have a tendency to trash talk against their opponent and as a result I really feel that these these guys that are battling you know their idols are um, well they're losing like a huge idea of their own that they they had a huge thought or a, you know really looked up to guys that probably aren't worth even checking out in the first place but it's all about attitude and what I mean by telling you attitude is of course the way you try to reach out to both your followers and your players and just really take the time to you know appreciate what you're trying to do I mean I got 6 so wins way back I still got a few sure but even if I do I really don't try to um, try to you know be in that guy that you know just said that I was that good and that's why I did the win I am fairly sure people that are still playing Pokemon today are all very very competent battlers and uh, I really know that feel that when you do a right prediction that you know you open up the game wide open so you can you know sweep the guy um, that goes for this uh, for your opponent too or even yourself when you do the wrong prediction and pretty much open up the game for your opponent and you know you just get smashed to pieces it's a very real situation and it's happening I mean every good player does this and it's nothing wrong with that like I said it's a very very real situation and um, try to credit your guy for you know trying something else and you know he might overdo he might do an over prediction and it ended up being a massive failure that's going to bite in his ass later on I mean try to at least see what your opponent doing and by that you know actually get into why you did win and actually what happened that made your opponent lose uh, this type of yes we call it attitude is not as common in um, well in Wi-Fi battles it is on showdown showdown battlers have a tendency to since they got the chat involved and people are just you know for some reason being able to chat and you know not facing your player and just typing down by text makes you much more cooler and having much more attitude if you can be an asshole on the showdown um, we have you know great battlers that you know take the time to credit their player one of them being Frank Tro, you should definitely check this guy out he is even though he's losing or winning he takes the time to you know wow that was a great move he's trying to 
get off that even if he is a good player, he do acknowledge that the player he's going against might be just as good if not even better than he is. And uh, I'm really gonna reach out on the players that I watch on, uh, well, on Wi-Fi battles, both being seen on uh, Anima, just me. While well, there, these three guys have you know developed that thing that really, that's the reason really that I'm following them, is that they take the time to understand their opponent. They know that they're competent battlers, and they'll they take that for granted to be honest. But they really just want to their opponent to succeed. They actually are more fun to watch when they're being pressured because credited their opponent makes them makes them more real as battlers and as we watch them we really feel that you know they do understand the game as much as their opponent and can appreciate that and that's really what I am looking for when I go into YouTube battles. You know, give credits where credits are due and you know give your opponent credit even if you they lose or win really just acknowledge that their strategies are good, that they take the time to understand the game. It, it's great for community to to get that, you know, get the feedback. I really feel that the feedback is what makes this community so big and vast and really just take the time to appreciate you, each other. Really just do that. I'm sure we can make it better tomorrow because of this in this community than you know, being the, I don't gonna mention the guys that are trash talking, but you guys definitely know who these guys are, and I really don't see why their following is based on their trash talk. Because let's face it, a lot of these guys are they're being followed because other people are just following them. They're not that competent of battlers, and they really feel that when it's working in their favor. That take the time to really, you know, put down their opponent, like, like telling them they are bad instead of like, taking the time. Oh, that was what you were thinking. Um, I fought like this. This is why I got apprehended. No, they will just discourage the knowledge of their opponent being, you know, being in that thought process. They will just say the player is bad, and it's not healthy. They lose fans because of that. They lose confident battlers. We that are more creative and the nicer battlers lose people that could have been something else because they are being put down and really just uh, taking away their self-esteem to be honest for Pokemon and really they're losing that edge and it's something that I really feel that we should acknowledge this, we should reach out to those players you know and like I said give credits where credits are due and definitely take the time next time you win a game to look at the moment where the game changed and Knowledge that situation, what really went down there, and take the time to just say to your opponent that they were good even though they lost. Because that's all you need. You need the feedback, and I really, I always take the time to. If I win, I really take the time to give that certain situation a slowdown to, you know, try to explain for my viewers what's going down, what really did happen. I never put myself on a pedestal, you know, I'm a better player, because I know I, I I might be one of the better ones, but I'm definitely not the best one, not even close, I'm probably, you know, top 10,000 at best. That is not very good now, is it? Yeah, no, but really, I really don't see myself as a competitive battler, and as a result, I just really want to share my knowledge of Pokemon, and people that are following me are doing that because they like that side of Pokemon. It is supposed to be fun, for me it's not so much competitive. It might have been that when I started off, but right now I just I just want to play weird stuff and have fun. And I really, really feel that a win based on weird stuff, it's something I can appreciate much more than me bringing the highest tier just to, you know, get on every Pokemon that I can and, you know, win a battle. It's not what Pokemon is about, at least not for me. I want to battle people that enjoy this game as much as I do and really just build a community that are so vast and so great and give credits to the persons that need it. So yeah, this was a taste on my future videos about Pocket Topics. Pocket Topics is gonna be something different every week and this is just something I really want to reach out on because I really feel that it should be acknowledged and it should be... we should reach out on this and give credits to the people that are worth of credit and are worth being noticed for their excellent plays in Pokemon. So, another guys, you know, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and if you appreciate this or want to see me talk about something else, make sure to write it down in the comment section below. So, other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and have a good day. All right, guys, take care.
Bye.